Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, February the 9th. It's the fifth week after the Epiphany. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 79, Galatians chapter 6, verse 11 to 18. And please join me in singing the sixth verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Elise. All praise to you, eternal God, and Jesus Christ, our Savior, Holy Spirit, three in one, our light and our salvation. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O God, the heathen have come into your land. They have defiled your holy temple. Alleluia. Psalm 79. Please recite it together with me. Alleluia, O God, the heathen have come into your land, and they have defiled your holy temple and laid waste to Jerusalem. The dead bodies of your servants have been given as food to the birds of the air. Their blood shed like water all around Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, the object of scorn and derision to all around us. How long, O oh God, will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the heathen that have not known you and on the nations that have not called on your name. For they have devoured your people and laid waste to their dwelling place. Do not remember our past iniquities. Let your tender mercies be swift to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and purge our sins for your name's sake. Why should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let us see you avenge the blood of your servants. Let the sign of the prisoner come before you, and spare those that are condemned to die. And repay to our neighbors sevenfold the reproaches with which they reviled you. So we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God, the heathen have come into your land. They have defiled your holy temple. Alleluia. A lesson from Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 6, beginning at verse 11. See what large letters I make when I am writing in my own hand. It is those who want to make a good showing in the flesh that try to compel you to be circumcised, only that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. Even the circumcised do not themselves obey the law, but they want you to be circumcised so that they may boast about your flesh. May I never boast about anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. For neither circumcision 
nor uncircumcision is anything, but a new creation is everything. As for those who will follow this rule, peace be upon them, and mercy and upon the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make trouble for me, for I carry the marks of Jesus branded on my body. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. And here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day, and we thank you for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, O oh tender God, that they may find and be found. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends, the church, and all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Have compassion on us, O God, and do not remember our sins. Forgive us and deliver us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me. And I was seduced. Alleluia. And may the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.